Bet I would. On the low, what's up with you, ho? Bitch, you smoking dro. Bitch, you know, bust like 44 when I spit that flow. Cause we go hard, like that shit, they hustle on the boulevard. Fuck your bar, bitch, I bet. Satellite drone. Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another Black Ops 3 video. In today's video, we are talking about something that I actually saw on YouTube, and that is T. Martin's video about weapon variants. And you know what? I really dislike this video because this video to me was just to get views and money. Not to say T. Martin isn't a great person and, and does that in no way, shape, or form. I think his video was absolutely ridiculous to upload. Because really, when you look at the facts, there's not going to be weapon variants in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. There is no way the developers would do that. What they've done here is they've added COD points so they can, one, increase sales in other departments, such as, um, you know, they have the, um, cosmetic stuff which is all the supply drops then what they've done is they've added you um that group that really doesn't play multiplayer they did something for that too they add the liquid divinium stuff so you can buy more of it i believe so there's that zombies group covered the cosmetic group covered and see here's why they really won't add um this like the variants like the speakeasy in advanced warfare one it's pay to win Pay to win, definitely. I don't care what you say in Advanced Warfare. I had a speakeasy. I bought supply drops. I bought a couple, but I never got anything good out of them. So I've had I had the speakeasy before, and the gun is absolutely insane. And the people that paid to get it really didn't earn it. Um, and that's just putting it lightly. I feel like pay to win games are ridiculous. I hate when people pay to win. Um, just do it yourself and do it legit. Um, that's just how you should play a game, it's how it's meant to be played, because it's like cheating and it makes the game not as fun and if you feel accomplished in yourself. Uh, two, the, the whole COD community hated it. The gun variant thing, um, I mean if you had a speakeasy you were for it because you had the speakeasy. But when it's coming against you, nobody liked it. Like, let's be honest. Why would you ruin such a great game and such a great franchise with gun variants? You wouldn't. That'd be a stupid thing to do marketing wise um you know you might get some sales off but what's really important keeping your brand keeping um the good series going and possibly doing something with it afterwards or do you want to ruin it now um and just have no future with it it's just one perspective from me take it how you want but that's honestly how i feel about it and here's the main reason behind it all what they've done is t martin's whole uh, argument was the fact that uh, currently and pr primarily, you know, cosmetics. Obviously, bud, um, if you look at the black market right now, you get weapons now. You get the brass knuckles, the butterfly knife, and the wrench. Those are weapons, not cosmetics. So obviously, they're going to add more weapons, not weapon variants, such as the MP40, as Vaughn's been hitting that. But, you know, this is what's going to happen. I guarantee anybody watching this video, we will not see weapon variants. It would be the stupidest marketing idea anybody at their company has had. Um, you have 10 available, 9 class slots that you can purchase for 300 COD points each. That's 2700 That's over $20 if you want all of them slots. I mean good money right there and they made so much off the game already I doubt they're gonna add a weapon variants just to get some more money when they have a great thing going um, money does crazy things but I don't think um, it's gonna get to the heads of everyone at, um, at Black Ops 3 um, you know it, it won't happen because the developers are very smart and they're not gonna ruin their game with something like that there's no way they would actually do that that's my argument guys if you don't agree with it leave a comment why I'm really interested to see what everybody has to say I mean look at it from a non-biased uh, standpoint you know I don't really watch T Martin I saw his video I didn't like it um, I didn't put a rating on it because I didn't like it I don't dislike videos it's not something I do but you know if you go watch his video look at what he posted and look at my facts I think I have a valid argument and he has an invalid argument I think he just did it for um, a little bit of publicity so that's my opinion if you don't agree with it, I'm sorry, um, I can't really 
make any better of an argument, but that's just what I had to say today. So guys, check out these sponsors in the description. I would really appreciate it if you did check them out. Follow my Twitter, guys. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here. Like the video if you did enjoy it. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm out.